Good morning, viewers. We're here this morning. I don't um, think it's a really good idea to, uh, like I said before, impeaching this president is a gigantic waste of our money. You know, the thing is, do you understand how many people are pissed off that our government spent a trillion dollars in Afghanistan for nothing? I mean, it ain't just Trump, it's Obama, it's well, it's Bush, it's Clinton, and now Trump, and now, now Trump. And it ain't like they went over there, they, they did build massive power factories in the middle of nowhere, hydrogen factories, in the middle of nowhere, for the Taliban. We built plenty of schools that they'll never use, they'll, they'll end up shooting people out of the windows from it, it'll be used as strongholds. Um... Now, our president, the one that God chose, but don't think for a second that Ahab was not chosen by God as well. Okay, so it was Saul. Saul was the first king that God chose. And Saul did what Saul wanted, and Saul paid the price. As I'm sure, the rest of our leadership that claimed Christ, but were so far, this man is not a Christian. All right, people that I know know he's not a Christian. Look at these, look at these people just spend our money like it's nothing. They throw it in the trash. I'm killing myself for mo less money probably than I'm going to make at McDonald's or Burger King. Well, Christianity today. That's a screenshot right there. None of the president's positives can outweigh the negatives. But don't tell that to some of my, um, some of the people that I know because you will get screamed at. You will get, if you're, if you don't agree with their views, these people that I know, I'm not talking about my brothers and sisters at church because we're always going to disagree. I'm talking about other people. Like, if you say that Donald Trump, you say, they'll say, well, he didn't do anything that bad. But he's, I can't prove it. And if, even if they could, they wouldn't tell us. But uh, Donald Trump is a traitor. He's working for Vladimir Putin. We need to hear more about the sex tapes. That has to be invested, investigated thoroughly. Okay? Because the man was a deviant. We already know that. We know he was a sexual deviant. We know that he cheated on every wife. Even wives he never even had he cheated on. So, quite possibly, I can't say he's the worst human being that ever lived. But I promise you that He's the worst president that I know of. I mean, we, we'll never know, right? By the way, if anyone out there is looking for a Magic Butter 2 machine, um, it's in there. It's on my Facebook Marketplace page. It's for sale. It's for sale. You can save 50 bucks if you buy it from me. It says you can make delicious desserts. Right. Anyway. Um, I'm not... I don't agree that... The, the impeachment... If it was going to go somewhere, then fine. But it's not. You... Our government... Years ago when they built that... That... That power plant in the middle of nowhere, and I said, I said, you know, that's a huge waste of money. There's no um, reason to put that there. There was no homes there. There's no businesses. What they want, they want to start extracting the. Um, there's a whole bunch of mineral rights in Afghanistan. Those mountains are full of good stuff. So, we have. Uh, 
we have now what we know to be monsters, man. How can you just keep doing this? We're, we're trillions of dollars in debt. China owns our com our country. Um, they literally own us. We they have more of our debt than any other, and all combined, other nations. Our deficit is outrageous. But don't think that this has not been carefully planned. You know, because by putting us in that kind of debt, they um, essentially are, are based, are, are, are putting the irons to us. We're the ones that worry about that debt. They're not worried about it. But I'm concerned. Look at all these wonderful products that you can purchase for one dollar at the Dollar Tree, okay? Um, I found a lock. They were selling these other locks, I'll show you. Uh, we got these locks. This lock is not, this is the Brinks lock, and this is the long shackle padlock, tool bench. A little under the, the shaft is a little shorter, but why wouldn't you pay a dollar for that? That's from, let's see here, made, hmm, made in China, imported by the USA. See how they put that on it? See that? Look, look. At the second line there, imported by in USA. At first glance, you would look, oh, made in USA. That's what you would do. That's the other lock I paid a dollar for. What else? We live in such a disposable. <laughs> that I paid a dollar for that. Pretty sure they, that they bought that shampoo for the dog for a dollar. Paid a dollar for each packet of white bees. Um, one dollar. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. One dollar. One dollar. You know what? This razor blew away my Gillette Track 3. It blew it out. There's no competition. But... Everywhere you look around you, there's probably something that you paid a dollar for if you shop at those stores. And you know it's addictive. You absolutely know that. I used to call um, uh, Walmart the, it's, it's an apocalypse of spending. But basically, you shut down Walmart, you shut down the dollar stores, you shut down Targets, you shut down the places where they're selling these products for minuscule amounts of money, then you're going to have a problem here. Because um, it makes it easier. I mean, I'm barely surviving. And, and, you know, that's not to say anything. God gives us what we need when we need it at, the, at that time. So, um... Yeah, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm going to let this go. Not, this has not been get high and preach yet. Out of money, out of weed. Anyway, you guys have a good day. God bless you.